Yo, what's a good Ram team? I'm RJ West, and I am back for the next episode of the Where Should They Go From Here series. And in this episode, we are taking a look at the New York Knickerbockers. And, uh, I mean, it's quite obvious they, they need to trade Carmelo. There are some Knicks fans that are denying that they need to do that. Because they do. I mean, they really do. But, they really try... They, now, I thought they could compete for a playoff spot, but it seems like all these thoughts were just delusions. And so, the problem now is they were trying to build so much around Carmelo and, uh, you know, by trading for Derrick Rose and just getting Kristaps Porzingis some playoff experience and perhaps competing. Or I keep doing that. But. They have a lot of money tied into Joakim Noah, which isn't very good. Carmelo w could be a free agent by 2018. If he wants to, it could be 2019. But the Knicks are going to have to trade him. Derrick Rose is a guy that's wanting a max contract. But since he got injured, I doubt... I don't think he's worth that, and I doubt he will get that. And, uh, man, this is pretty sad. The, the career of Derrick Rose is pretty sad. But, I mean, I don't know what to say about it. And look at that. Oh, my God, that was bad. But, hey, I mean, he got... He actually is... He actually was more efficient this year. And, I mean, he didn't shoot the three ball as well as he did at the end of the All-Star break in uh, 2016. But... It's right here, 2012 or 2000, 2010. I mean, Derrick Rose. I don't. It's pretty sad to say that he probably won't return to that status that he once was. But he can at least become a Grant Hill and try and recover from all of his injuries on a new start, a fresh start, a new home. Maybe the Knicks. Maybe it's not with the Knicks. Maybe it's with some other team. And he's solid there with a guy that can sort of play off of him, I guess. I don't know. Just some some way. Because he will probably be the only MVP winner who doesn't make the Hall of Fame. I mean, he probably will make the Hall of Fame because the NBA Hall of Fame is just so bad. <laughs> like, 179 people. But I digress. Poison God is a cheat code. Alright, he's a cheat code. He's actually more efficient this year and scored more, but he is a cheat code, all right? He, there are just some games where he just puts it up and he does not miss whatsoever just because he's seven foot three and he can shoot. So players have a hard time defending that. Draymond will have a hard time defending that because he cannot guard face up fours. But overall, I mean, they just spent a lot of money on, see, look at that. Courtney Lee's making 11 million a year, 12 million a year. Joe Kim Noah, 18 million a year, roughly. Um, they're gonna have more salary cap since Derrick Rose is gonna be a free agent, but they can trade Carmelo and free up $26 million in cap space. So, I mean, the Knicks should trade Carmelo, all right? They should trade Carmelo. It just really, at this point of his career, he's just really not helping out the Knicks. He's really not a guy that you would want to lead your team either. Back early on in his career, you could say that he could lead a team, definitely, but those days are over. All right, he's 32. He can still put the ball in the basket, but... He's not very efficient. He's a volume shooter, and uh, I mean, it's just really not conducive to winning when you're a team like the Knicks that need to be have a winning atmosphere or just get some young talent to have a winning atmosphere. Willie, Willie Hernan Gomez seems promising. Why doesn't he have any stats? I don't know, but he seems promising, and uh, that could work out. So, I'm going to take a look at some more stats here. Carmelo. Yeah, I spent a lot of time talking about a lot, but or not that much. But, 
yeah you see so these are the per 36 stats here the efficiency per ha, Kylo, Kylo queen armillo 17.7 per so Carmelo should be traded to I don't know if the Clippers I mean Blake Griffin needs to leave Chris Paul needs to leave him I mean that's a different topic for another day but Carmelo could be traded to the Clippers it could be traded to the Cavaliers I mean I, I doubt he's gonna get traded to the Cavaliers or even the Clippers to be honest because I feel like at least Blake Griffin is going to leave. So, the Knicks are going to have a high draft pick. So, let's take a look at this real quick. It'll be a top 10 draft pick. I doubt Josh Jackson falls that far. I mean, he could if he does, then I'm not sure if it will entirely help them. I would say, I mean, I guess it could, but if De'Aaron Fox falls to the Knicks, <laughs> I mean, if Alonzo Ball falls to the Knicks, that would be their ideal, and you have a playmaker to go along with, um, Chris Stapps, Porzingis, but De'Aaron Fox wouldn't be a bad player to have there either, pretty, he's good at attacking the basket and playmaking, when people see John Wall in him, and uh, that wouldn't be such a bad comparison, but the Aaron Fox could be a nice player to go along with Porzingis. They have any more picks? Let's actually take a look at the trade. Proposed trade. Okay, they have a second round pick. And they have a first rounder next year. Yeah, they had their picks. Alright, so they had their picks. So feel like tanking, I mean, doing this. I don't know why the Cavs would do this entirely. I mean, I guess it would provide them more versatility or whatever on offense. And um, Carmelo won't have to do what he does. He's going to have to be less selfish if he does, if this does end up going down, which I, I highly doubt it does. But they are simply because I don't I doubt the cast selected would mess up team chemistry, but I mean if it does go down then this would be pretty crazy. But as for free agents Chris Paul Kyle Lowry. Doesn't he have a player option? I don't think he's leaving Toronto. Yeah, he has a player option. Gordon Hayward, only if they trade Carmelo, Blake Griffin wouldn't be such a good fit. Um, let's see. Millsap, eh, if Porzingis played, I mean, I don't know. It wouldn't be too, it wouldn't be a perfect fit, in my opinion. George Hill, George Hill wouldn't be a bad point guard. Jeff Teague wouldn't be a bad point guard. I mean... You you might need some somebody if you're gonna get Jeff Teague you might need somebody to take the pressure or, I don't know just get get a guy like Josh Jackson in the draft I guess that wouldn't be so, so bad but I doubt Jeff Teague would like to go to the Knicks I mean Derrick Rose I mean it's just the whole product of of the Knicks it has some pieces that don't really go well together so. The Knicks should try and trade Carmelo. If they do luck into a top prospect, or if they do luck into Josh Jackson, then I mean, this, they are extremely lucky, alright? It's three point shooting. Why is it up to C? Plus? I don't know why it's up to C, plus, but he is one of the best. He's one of the better defenders, perimeter defenders in this draft class. Josh, Josh Jackson is. And there's a lot more point guards coming into the NBA now. I mean, there's already a lot of them. But, uh, as for the Knicks, I would say they should try and trade Carmelo. There's no, I don't think that anybody's going to want to take on this contract of Joe Kim Noah. 
Resigning Derrick Rose wouldn't be so bad, but just don't don't overpay for him. Like just don't offer him a max contract. Just offer him like maybe fifteen million dollars, ten million dollars, some somewhere around that mark, maybe fifteen, eighteen million dollars. That wouldn't be so bad. <sighs> um yeah, trading Carmelo would free up some salary cap so maybe you can go after a free agent like gordon hayward i don't know if anybody's gonna want to come to new york maybe maybe for poor zingad but there's just a lot of question marks about the knicks i mean for zingad hernan gomez isn't is a pretty good player so i mean they have some all right pieces they're just gonna need to draft wisely once again because they actually have a draft pick in this draft so if they can shed the salary of Carmelo, that would be pretty nice. Because if they want to keep Derrick Rose, they're going to have to pay him. But letting him walk wouldn't be too bad either. Because then you can just tank. I know a lot of, I mean, there are a couple of Knicks fans that I've seen before talking about how they don't want the Knicks to trade Carmelo and how people are saying <laughs> Carmelo is actually helping Porzingis and you know all that but in my opinion Knicks should trade Carmelo I've been all over the place I'm pretty repetitive with this video but overall I say the Knicks don't have a terrible future as long as they make the right moves they will be fine and uh, with that I have been RJ West and I am saying so long the next team we will be taking a look at will be the Sacramento Kings. So I'll see you then.